there's this belief that omega-6 fats, mm -hmm. which form the bulk of the, the oil, the fats in seed oils, are inherently harmful. Right. And that is demonstrably false. We've got two types of polyunsaturated fat. So a polyunsaturated fat simply refers to having a double bond between two carbon atoms, and that double bond is chemically reactive. It can do what we call oxidise. And that oxidation um, can actually be absorbed into our body and can do us damage. Poly meaning many. So polyunsaturated fats have more than one of these double bonds. Monounsaturated fats like olive oil, which is constituted of 70% oleic acid, has only a single double bond, and saturated fats don't have any of these double bonds. So what actually happens is that when we consume a seed oil, a vegetable oil, we're consuming fats which are prone to oxidation, and the oxidation is actually what's doing the damage. It just so happens that most seed oils are actually uh, proport disproportionately made of omega-6 fats but it's not the omega-6 fats themselves that do the damage it's the fact that whenever you have a, uh, a polyunsaturated fat it oxidizes rapidly within hours of production literally within hours wow. and when you're consuming it you're consuming that oxidation that's the bad news there now arachidonic acid is a, uh, a chemical that's formed from the omega-6s mm -hmm. and it can get turned into multiple other inflammatory uh, chemicals. We've assumed that arachidonic acid can turn into leukotrienes, it can turn into thromboxane A2 and so on and so forth, prostaglandin. It must be bad for us. But in actual fact, the arachidonic acid is not inflammatory. It will only turn into these inflammatory substrates if there's an inflammatory trigger. If you remove inflammatory triggers, that arachidonic acid will sit there quite happily and won't do anything bad at all. Now, for proof of this, we go to one of the doyens of low carb, Jeff Volick. He was involved in a study that was published in 2019, and that looked at the fatty acid profiles in people who went on a low carbohydrate intervention versus people on high carbohydrate diets. And what they actually found was that the arachidonic acid level in the people on low carbohydrate diets increased. And this is hugely important to understand because every other inflammatory marker reduced. So it really goes to show that the reason the arachidonic acid was increasing was simply because it wasn't, you removed the inflammatory triggers and it wasn't being converted into these other downstream products that generate, cause inflammation that are associated with inflammation. The way to think about it is that Omega-6 is an essential fatty acid. We need it for life. Without it, we die. The problem is that when we consume it from seed and vegetable oils, we consume it in an oxidized form. Mm -hmm. 